Washington, let's go. Oh no, not again. Why are you dressed like that? We're going to Dinosaur World. Yeah, but it's a park, not an African jungle or something. There aren't any animals with teeth the size of steak knives in Africa. Steak knives, right. So you ready? I'm ready. For anything. Two adults and two kids, please. There you go. And here's your map to Mesozoic Mesa. Read all the directions, pay attention to the signs, and stay on the marked paths. And please, don't feed the dinosaurs. Right, thanks. Feeding time at the nursery is every hour on the hour. Great. Right. Have a good Let's day. Bye-bye. Hello. Have a great day here. Oh, honey, I can't see you. Hold up. Remember, no wrong. This is just a park. Sis, these aren't stuffed teddy bears. These are real dinosaurs. <laughs> Imagine a bird 50 times bigger than a pigeon. Whoa. <laughs> now there's room under my hat for all of you if any pteranodons dive bomb us. There's room under your hat for a football game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what should we see first? The babies in the nursery. Oh, yeah. Babies? I didn't come here to see babies. Let's see a real dinosaur like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tim, babies are real dinosaurs too. They're just smaller and cuter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's all take a look at the map, huh? Okay. okay. Well, it looks like all the dinosaurs are on Mesozoic Mesa. Hmm. Mesa what? Mesozoic. The age of the dinosaurs. It started about 225 million years ago. <laughs> now, to get there, we have to go through something called Triassic Terrace. The very first part of the Mesozoic. Lots of reptiles and early dinosaurs. Then we get to, oh, here we go. The Stegosaurus is right on the edge of Mesozoic Mesa. And the nursery and the petting zoo are just yes. beyond that. Petting zoo? Where's the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Um, he's all the way over here. Oh, don't worry, Tim. You'll get to see the T-Rex before we go. Yeah, but first you gotta see a bunch of babies. Oh, Me too, honey. We've been here five minutes, we haven't seen a dinosaur yet. Well, there must be some dinosaurs around here. <laughs> what do we know about this, uh... This Demetrodon. Demetrodon. He's a reptile, not a dinosaur. Basically, just a big lizard. No problem. Then what's that fan on his back for? Because he's a reptile, he's cold blood. And he needs the sunlight to warm up. So if he turns sideways to the sun, it helps him warm up faster. And if... if he faces into the sun, then he cools off? Yeah, so let's go find some dinosaurs. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, look! It's big. Oh. No, absolutely not. Can you see if I got all A puppy. I said you could get a puppy. You know one of those cute furry little things that goes bark? But mom. No, besides, we'd get it home and we'd feed it and we'd play with it and teach it tricks. We'd grow to love it and it would come to depend on us. And then, after a few years, look what you've done. It probably can learn any tricks anyway. 
Stegosaurs aren't too smart. Why not? Their brains are about the size of golf balls. What are those plates on its back for? They help keep it cool. Kind of like they did at Stone? Yeah. And those spikes, Ow. they probably refer to fence. Hey, we don't want to miss feeding time at the nursery, do we? Right. Maybe I can teach it to roll over. What if it rolls over on the car? That's Baby Alice. Baby Allosaurus. Oh, one of the fiercest carnivores that ever lived. I didn't know they had one here. Cool. What's a carnivore? A meat eater. Oh, I guess Whoa. Baby Alley is hungry. Yeah, this is Baby. I can't wait to see Daddy. Kind of looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. When he grows up, he'll be smaller than a full-size T-Rex. Maybe as long as a couple of cars and not much taller than your average house. About 16 feet. Oh, only 16 <laughs> feet? Well, gosh, that makes me feel better. For a minute there, I was worried. <laughs> How about you, Tim? Tim? Tim! Hey, did you see where he went? No, I was watching Baby. Gee, I hope he's not lost. My brother never gets lost. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much, folks. Here in the park, around dinner time is when the carnivores get hungry. After the park closes. Oh, don't they get hungry for snacks? Mary? <gasps> Dad, come here. Tim, what are you doing? Watch Dad. Isn't he great? Tim, you had us worried wandering off like that. You could have been lost or... Or, or snack food. You guys, you think I get careless when there's dinosaurs around? <sighs> well, what does dinosaur mean anyway? Terrible lizard. I can understand terrible, but I thought you said they weren't lizards. Scientists used to think they were, but dinosaurs are more like birds. Birds, yeah. Right, I see exactly what you mean. They look just like birds. I mean the way their bones are put together. Bird or not, I'm glad that he's over there and we're over here. Yeah, imagine something like that coming after you. Ooh. We should be getting close to the Apatosaurus. Ah! Oh! I think we found the Apatosaurus, Dad. Oh, uh, don't worry, honey. These dinosaurs are probably pretty tame and, and used to people. Probably. I don't think she hurts you. Unless she steps on you. Tim. Well, they can get as long as a couple of school buses and way more than half a dozen elephants. Oh, look. She has a baby, uh. too. Is she a carnivore? No, she's an herbivore. She eats plants, pine needles, twigs, leaves, stuff like that. Speaking of eating, is anybody getting hungry? Yeah! yeah. Let's go eat. <laughs> yeah. Wow! I'll bet that's the Brontosaurus burger. Wow! Unbelievable. Oh. That is the most gigantic burger I've ever seen. Uh -huh. That may be just enough for me. It is. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't want to eat a dinosaur. Well, nobody's eating dinosaurs, honey. They're rare and endangered. Besides, they're just too hard to catch. <laughs> <laughs> they just name all the stuff after dinosaurs. See, Brontosaurus burger, the biggest burger ever built. Served on the biggest buns ever baked. A hamburger so stupendously humongous that no one has ever actually finished one. But if that sounds like a little too much for you, I might suggest our tasty Triceratops treat. A hot dog so totally neat, you'll be roaring for more, even before. Oh, no. Your first one is halfway complete. Yeah. For you, sir, I might have them send. Yes. Our world famous herbivore blend crisp veggies and greens, tomatoes and beans. And a dressing our chef recommends. That looks delicious. <laughs> I'll bet I know just what you want. And what's that? Cuisine that's très au courant. Mm. A pastry crust filled with crab is a must. Oh. It's called the Cretaceous Croissant. Mm. And french fries on the side? Mais certainement. <laughs> <laughs> now this one is going to tough. Because he looks hungry enough. To devour a dozen hot from the oven, then send us right back for more stuff. stuff. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Wonton a la Dometodon? with Carithosaur wow. chips. And Diplodocus yeah. dip. Oh. And 
and Parasaurolophus punch. punch. Wow. Yeah. Taco, pterodactyl. Wow. That's big. Adrodon hash. Pachycephalosaurus soup. But you have to spell it first. I T I T. Please choose boy. whatever you wish. Dine on a Deinonychus dish. The flavor is wild. The spices are mild. And if when you finish, <laughs> you finished your spinach. And your, your plate is spotlessly clean. clean. Make sure to leave room for at least fifty spoonfuls of the Dino dessert supreme. Ichthyosaurus ice cream. Mary, stay with your big brother. I will, Mom. We'll be out as soon as your father okay. finishes his saber tooth surprise. All right. Don't worry. Let's go. Wait. You heard Mom. We're not supposed to. You afraid? No. We're just going over there. Besides, I'm ready for anything. I know, I know. That's what worries me. To the Tronosaurus Rex, we have to go this way. Tim, that thing is looking right at us. Don't worry. Tim! Just a second, Mary. We're right about. Tim, it's flying right at us. Tyrannosaurus don't fly, they climb cliffs and glide. Then it's gliding right at us. Duck! It's not a duck. It's a Wearing explorer's clothes. I'm just a little worried because it's getting cold out there. <laughs> you shouldn't worry about that, ma'am. There are plenty of places for him to stay warm. Now, you say they've only been gone since... Since lunch. They could be anywhere by now. You say the boy... Tim. Tim. He wanted to see the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm -hmm. More than anything else. Well, then, that's probably where they are. I'll check it out right now. Oh, Great. Thanks. This is Stone calling T-Rex Station. This is Stone calling T-Rex Station. A couple of kids might be heading your way. Boy, about... Ten. Ten. And a girl... Seven. Seven. Boys wearing explorer clothes. And, and a, a hat. hat. <laughs> <laughs> he never goes anywhere without his hat. And a hat. Have you seen him? Two kids? No. Nothing so far, Captain. Well, keep your eyes open and let us know when they show up. And so don't worry. I'm sure they're not lost. We're lost, aren't we? We're not lost. Not as long as I have my compass. We're gonna be some dinosaurs dinner. Don't worry. You wouldn't even be an appetizer for a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, great. We're in the middle of a forest filled with man-eating monsters. We're in the middle of an adventure. And you're making jokes. I'll have us added this in no time. You worry too much. Now, I just need to find a landmark on this map. Dinosaur World will close in half an hour. So take a couple of rangers out to the drop zone and see if you can find anything. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Drop zone? That's what we call this clearing. It's, uh, well, it's a little joke. It's the Pteranodon's favorite place to dive bomb people. You know, like... Yeah, like pigeons, we know. Is it dangerous? Dangerous? No, just messy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mrs. McDonough, I know that you're worried, but you say that he has a compass. And he knows how to use it. He never gets lost. He took food and water. He even brought a flashlight. Well, it sounds like he came prepared. Yeah, but he's only 10 years old. And what about Mary? What does she know about dinosaurs? It's okay. Tim knows everything about them. Don't worry, he'll take care of them. Hmm. 
no. Maybe we are gonna be a dinosaur stand. Don't worry. We wouldn't even make a dinosaur's dessert. You'll think it's okay. Yeah. Well, what I think is we're in trouble. Well, we still have the flashlight and the liquid water you brought. <laughs> Please report to the carnivore compound. Feeding crews to the carnivore compound. Nothing so far. It's getting close to feeding time and I'm afraid. I know what time it's getting to be. Did you search off the pathway? Over. Roger, Captain. I sent a team out to check the air. Wait a minute. Here they come. They found something. means a giant kid eating monster with a zillion teeth and a terrible temper that's pretty close it means terrible claw they use their claws to rip open the insides of the victims and and you mean it gets worse yeah it gets worse they travel in packs like wolves He never goes anywhere without it. You know, finding this doesn't mean anything, Mrs. McDonough. It's... Yeah, he, he could have dropped it. Or thrown it at something. Thrown it at what? Uh, dinosaur. Yes, sir. Chopper's here, Captain. All right, I'm heading up the ground search team. I want you in the helicopter, and you're coming with me. All right, let's move. We've got some kids to rescue. Stay in touch. You got it. Good luck. Don't worry, man. We'll find them. OK. Let's go get our kids. Tim, I'm hungry. Well, we got some canola. You know, okay, I've got it. I always thought you were kind of silly, d um, dressing up like an explorer and studying dinosaurs, and you know, bringing a pack along where everywhere we went. Yeah, well, I guess I was kind of silly. Look where it got us. No, I mean, without you, I'd still be back there with that Dinon... You know that thing with the Dinonychus? Dinonychus? Yeah, the Dinonychus. It would have dined on me. But you got us out of there, and you brought along food and water. I'll never laugh at you again. Okay. Now what? It's just a baby, see? Oh, it's an egg. But what are they? Parasaurolophus babies. Duckbill dinosaurs. You don't have to worry about them. They just eat leaves and stuff. Or you gotta watch out for us. Mom. <coughs> oh, weird. What's that thing on her head? Well, nobody knows for sure, but it's probably what makes her sound so strange. The important thing about duckbills is it's what? They're just about the favorite food of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Come on! Do you know what we're looking for? Do you think they're around here? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't they're know. in this area. We will find them. What? Tyrannosaurus Rex? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's go. Right, come let's on. go. I'm scared. Me too, but we have to come across a path sometime, and then we can just follow it back. Quick, let's hide behind this tree. Ew. Tim, let me see the flashlight.
gotta be around here somewhere. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Mary! Mary! That's all I need. This whole family's gonna get lost. Mike, come in. So head for the T-Rex. And get that searchlight ready. That was too close. pretty well out there today. Tim saved my life. He knew exactly what to do. Except how to keep us from getting lost in the first place. Well, the important thing is you didn't panic. You were prepared. I don't think I would have made it without you, sis. I was really ready to give up. You give up? No way. <laughs> I wasn't worried for a second. Well, you really gave us a scare. Don't do it again. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. By the way, Tim, we oh, yeah. found something. Yeah, it was a pteranodon. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Cutie pie. Come on, honey. Bye. We'll be back. 